<clears throat> Howdy, folks. Delgar here. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. I just realized I need to. Nope. I need to move me up a little bit there so you can see the log better. There we go. <clears throat> we are crossing this bridge. Taking on who knows. Eviscerated those knobs. It's rather beautiful. We're not going to grab all these milk cans, that's for sure. But so now we have Knowles ripped apart. Now, he seems quite happy about this. Let me tell you, I am not. And I'll tell you why I'm not happy. So that means there's something stronger than Knowles up ahead. Buckle. What is a buckle? It's an arrow of ice. Okay. Uh, we'll send this to camp. Send this to camp, and we'll take the arrow of ice. Spear. There's movement there. I can see something. Someone. There's more gnolls everywhere. So gnolls, um, gnolls are fiendish in nature, uh, though they are officially, as we saw, humanoids. They do have a sort of fiendish element. Rurik. Okay, he appears to be an ally, according to the map. See how long that lasts. Okay, let's uh, let's go in and, and why do I feel like he's not going to be? Oh, there's there's actually a bunch of people here. Look, Cyril, Anders, Trin. These are the the bounty hunters or whatever. You won't get any further this way, friend. Roads blocked up ahead. Um, are the dead knows your handiwork? I killed the biggest, ugliest one myself. My friends inside took care of the rest. Uh, what, what's causing the blockage? Rockfall in the ravine. Perfect spot for an ambush. That's it, that's what you're gonna tell me? Get inside if you're sticking around. You'll only attract the wrong kind of attention out here. Okay, I'm just gonna loot your gnolls that you worked really hard to kill. Because apparently you don't care about money. Standing there shrugging. Um, I mean, I'm impressed in that null fight that we managed to lose two of our folks there, to be honest. No. Not wishing to uh, belittle the nulls, but I, I really didn't think they were going to be that bad. I was very much wrong. So this is the group that I think we're supposed to be fighting for Karlak. Um, and I choose a tiefling over dwarf any time. I can tell you that right now. Ooh, good cheese. Smashing cheese, lad. Was that that box? It was. Oh, I don't think we saw him. Nice. Bit of free money. Looks rather nicely decorated in there. Oh, I've done it again. Let's just keep checking the outside first before we go in. If we can get in this way, that gives us an advantage. If it, uh, yeah, look. Because if this comes to a fight. Oh, hey, padded armor. Being up here would be lovely. A glaive, nice. Money.
Okay, let's uh, let's just take myself and hop down here. Oh, which is much <clears throat> so here's some information about Inogu, the uh, novel god. I didn't mean to read that, I just wanted to pick that up for later. In this cupboard we found an apple, we know where that's going. Graph of water is always useful. Un citron. Be that the court of the absolute report of our agents and Elter guard will fade like any other. <clears throat> okay, so they're researching the uh, absolute. So it is a, a known phenomenon at this point. Don't want that cauldron. Yep, hi, don't mind me. Haven't talked to you, I'm just gonna go through everything here, including some books of lore, sacks, grab that as well, thank you. Oh, interesting, there's a trap door. There's a sleeping chap over there. Oh, he's not sleeping. Order of the Gauntlet. Okay, there's, there's yet another of the uh, 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 factions. Represented beer. Uh, we missed these sacks over here. Let's grab them real quick. And there it is. Is there anything back behind there? No, that's fine. Yeah, I really want to. Uh, Loot first. Or should I say, flute first, apparently. Here, we'll take that. What is this guy then? He's a caster, is who he is. Uh, camp. Is that, you, you seriously just cool with me rummaging through everything here? It's just it looks like this is your your kind of base of operations, as it were. I was so quick I didn't even see if that was a short bow or a long bow. Rapier. in here. Pat this is this place is just packed with with goodies. See? I tell you. Okay, well now you look a bit foolish. Just climbing all over their furniture. A morning star. Ooh, I do like a morning star. for next time we go to camp. Okay, so they barricaded that door. I like that they felt the need to differentiate between regular sausages and spicy sausages. That's uh, oh, kiwi. It's exotic. I 
I don't know why. Where are you going? Uh, okay. Um, that was... Well, that was an interesting decision. Alright, let's just go talk to this guy. And they're sort of tier train. I mean, they don't look too awful as a group to, to try and destroy. At ease, friend. The knolls hit us hard, but this place is still safe. It's under Tyr's protection. Um, your servants yes. of Tyr. Paladins in his service. Oh boy. Sworn to bring justice to those who need it. But there are many in need, and few of us. This was our third battle in as many days. In truth, we could use some help. A devil going on? is terrorizing the refugees on these roads. Tyr sent us to hunt her. Kill the fiend for us, and we'll reward you well. The fiends come in all forms. What am I looking she for? She has the form of a tiefling, with a single horn. But she's an infernal being, straight out of the nine hells. Oh. You recognize the description. The wounded tiefling you met by the river. She slaughtered countless refugees. Yesterday she butchered an entire family. The mother had been pregnant. I've been called a dead before. Are you sure the about this? may have been a tiefling once. She belongs to Avernus now. I believe I've met You're her. You're lucky to be alive. If you see her again, bring me her head. Okay, gonna be honest. <clears throat> that took a turn that I wasn't expecting. If you want to go poking around in the cellar, be my guest. Plug your nose first, though. Why, what's down there? Corpse, half right to mush. Must have been down there a ten day or more. It's a nice place to hold up. What is it? It was a toll house. By the time we arrived, it was more like a slaughterhouse. There's more monsters than coin moving down this road. There's any a gold door down the hatch. Doesn't look like anyone's managed to get in. If there's any gold left, that's where it'll be. Okay. So while I decide what to do about the unfortunate uh, situation with the with Carlac, we check our uh, log here. So we have the choice of killing Anders or killing Carlac. Man, I don't know. Let's head down this hatch. Oh, that smells right. Let's uh, occupy ourselves with apparently a bunch more looting. More weapons. Why would you do that, Halberd? Nice. Great sword. Nice. Short bow. Potatoes. More vegetables. Yeah, I'm just going to take all this. <laughs> Put the shield there. A uh, potion of vitality. In case you didn't know, you can press space and it will uh, grab all. That's how I'm doing that so quickly. And let's check the, the corpse. Tollhouse ledger. That we want to read. Okay, so Morpeneth is uh, around uh, 
for uh, uh, autumn from the year 1492 um, 25 gold 100 gold fee, fists don't pay tolls they extort uh, ok flaming thirst company um, so four merchants uh, brewer and two guards bringing kegs to Joaquin's rest, I'm guessing that's a, a tavern uh, seven farmers, no good, no gold, wounded. Warned us to leave. Send courier to request extra guards or relief. More farmers, too many to count, no goods, carrying their own dead. Road untenable, preparing to abandon post. Starion, would you uh, do the honors? Had a boy. Let's see what's waiting for us down here, shall we? room and a bucket hmm. what's that okay that is a trap is what that is starion can you um no okay let's uh let's separate again Darren, bring your, your fellows out here. I'll continue on my own temporarily. Wow. Good loot. Something over there. That's what I expected. Let's grab some blank canvases. Can't reach. Fan of these uh, angles, if I'm honest. There's a traveler's chest. What is that? Hmm. What's that? I'm assuming that's another vent, yes. Whew. Flames are a little bit off position. Oh, I see they, they accidentally uh, stacked some items there. Whole of sacks full of sack. Like nothing on this side at all. That might be worth a look. Yeah, there's another one. So somewhere, this this place is definitely trapped. Obviously. Two crates by mistake. Uh, let's just drop and drop. There we go. That's better. We are still quite way down here. Uh, 24 wine will do that to you. Uh, you can give the grease bottles. There's some more wine. I guess that one's going there. Yeah, that's already lightened my load significantly. Good grief. I've <laughs> got 27 healing potions. Yikes. Uh, so the real question is. 
How does one avoid triggering this when one opens the door? I mean, surely that's what we want to do, right? Because you would imagine that the good stuff is in here. It's all those nice vases. So let's uh, let's just back back everyone else up a little further. Let's go around the outside first and then come back from the middle. Make it easier for myself. Yep, we're on that. As expected. Expected another one. This is so interesting. Nice, nice, nice. It's a nice chair. Yeah? Let's sit in that. A bit of strange noise for a chair. Now I can't help but notice that there appears to be something on the other side here. This, I think, opens in some way. Something over there. It's making a noise. Do you hear that? Uh, I don't want large bottles or small bottles. Not worth the wait, in my opinion. Uh, let's check all this middle section. Don't think we need a bucket, thank you. Potion of visibility, very nice. Didn't want that. Okay, so I need two people. Here, sit on there. Um, who's Hardy? Come sit on this for me. Hopefully this doesn't go poorly. Sit on the chair. That's curious. 
Okay, and then uh, Shadow Heart, you're going to get up. Because that's going to drive me nuts. Okay, there's a lot in here. I feel like there's going to be something I pick up that's going to mess me up here. So let's prepare for that, mentally. I apologize if you can hear very loud grating over and over again. Pleasurable deal, what's this? <clears throat> I see. It's the lusty Argonian maid. I'm gonna travel this chest up here. Nice. Great packs plus one. Okay, I better be able to get that. Thank goodness. Okay, I'm unable to get those great swords for no obvious reason. It does appear that we have achieved everything that I'm not going to stand on. That could be my trigger. See that right there? That could be the thing that causes me to, uh, you know. Oh, Shadowheart. Shadowheart. Please sit on the chair. Thank you. I feel like a plum. Uh, well, I don't know what what we would have done to trigger that. I, I mean, maybe it was that um, that plate that we saw. Uh, we definitely need to get rid of some of this stuff. And <clears throat> um, as cool as this is, that's better. Congratulations on your upgrade. Let's sort by weight, please. Okay, rum. You go in there. Okay, these apparently aren't the same. Neither of those potions are healing. It's weird what stacks and what doesn't. Um, a bajillion crafts of water, some wine. We'll, we'll sort by, by stuff in a bit. Uh, oh my goodness, we have 15 poisons which is weighing us down pretty substantially. Uh, I'm sad that we don't have anyone who can make good use of that. Uh, that doodah. Um, this armor up here. Because it's really good looking armor. Blank canvases, that's weird. Uh, let's just drop these. Uh, alcohol goes to a star, and he's nearly uh, encumbered, actually. 
Wait, what's in here? Oh, right. Okay, sort by type. Wow, we have... We have a lot of loot. <laughs> Look at all those rings and necklaces. Yikes. Um, gosh. Okay. Um, yeah, we need to find a trader at some point. Huh. Okay, that's where the books will go. So, we, we've accumulated a bunch of books here lately. We'll uh, offload those at the opportune moment. We have some severed heads that we're just carrying around with us. So, I'm afraid I've decided, <clears throat> and I may be, oh, she's really close here. I, I'm, 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 I'm letting my, my D&D, real life D&D, wait, where are you going? Come back, come back, come back. Oh, well, we know those are blocked. All right, let's just come down here then. Um, <clears throat> yeah, look, she's there. Good grief. Uh, I'm going to let my, my D&D, um, history as, as, a, as a real life person affect my decision making process here um, <clears throat> Zelgrax for whom the name, the channel is named was a um, paladin of Tyr and uh, he would not stand for this terrorizing uh, uh, devil over here so I'm afraid Karlak I've got some bad news uh, what do we want to light her up with to, to start this? Guiding Bolt seems fun. Let's fight. Um, yeah, just shoot her. This seems like it's going to go pretty easily, if we're being honest. Uh, you're done. Let's see if she does something. Just a ranged attack. Nothing fancy. Okay. Interesting. I need to pin down. Wow. Shoutheart, you want to get your revenge? Okay, three new journal updates. It's a lot of updates. Okay. Karlik died, so we're not killing Anders. Bring Karlak's head. Hunt the devil. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, jump. The corpse is covered in tattoos and scars. I will examine using my tiefling arcana. Come on, give me, give me good roll. Give me good roll. That is a one. That is really annoying. Powerful infernal wards native to Avernus. Some are inked onto her skin, others okay. written in scars. Wish I could do that again. Uh, let's try another arcana roll. Uh, this, this is worse because we're not a tiefling. Um, because we're not using a tiefling. Oh, man! Your head swims, your vision flickers. You cannot look on these otherworldly symbols for long. <sighs> Remove her head. The head comes free with a sickening crunch. Hey, my crossbow, thanks. What's in the backpack? Useful stuff. So, in my head, in my bag, I should have Karlak's head. Hey, that looks just like this head. Also, are you wearing... Oh, you're wearing that. Uh, you should wear that. And those. Protects you against crits. And extra strength saving throw. 
No, you should not use those. Because I know what those do, and it's not good. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and uh, turn in this quest ahead. And then I think that's probably it for this, uh, for this episode. Uh, I... She wasn't very difficult to kill, which makes me feel a little bad. Now I'm slightly concerned that maybe I got the wrong person, but... Shall we save it? Just in case something goes wrong here. Any sign of the tiefling fiend? Okay. Thank you. As promised, here is my blade. Oh ho. Blessed by tear. Is it now? It's sacred. The most valuable thing I've ever held. I hope it serves you as well as it served me. Sort of justice. As uh, Jimmy. Rare. So this is a. This is a plus one great sword. Um, what does tears protection do? Shield of Faith. But it lets someone else shield of faith. Deliverance, justice, and vengeance. Yeah. Okay. Well, I feel better about this now. Zelgrax would be would be proud. Um I just I feel a little bad because this Great X plus one is worth one hundred? Are you kidding me? That's less than a regular Great Axe. That sort of justice is uh Yeah, that's pretty dope. Yeah, how long? So now she has this. Um, recharge once per battle. Oh, wow. So that's just a bonus action for for her. And she can cast that on, on anybody um, at any time. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Wow, look at this. Resistant to fire and poison. Uh... Everyone's kind of neutral towards me. Well, that's disappointing. Um, no one else has any resistances. Because they're rubbish. I don't mean that. Or do I? Okay. Um, so surely that completes that log does so these are all these are all done so now we just have Anders and the toll house marked here for no good reason we are very near the survivors and I think that is probably where we head next time I know I've said this before but I really do love how different this is to my previous playthrough because it's so different we didn't do any of this like literally didn't come up here at all we never made this right turn so there was so much of the map we never got to see um, I don't like that there's this blank space here. I, I guess it might be um, like a chasm or whatever, but it would be nice to fill that in. Um, yeah. There's a little, little blank space here too that it looks like this we should be able to fill in, I believe. So we'll we'll work on that at some point. This is this is where Karlak was here. I mean this is this is the Druid's Grove right here. Like I think you can hop around through there. I'm not sure. But yeah, so tomorrow. Or whenever it is. Be tomorrow for you. Um we will go to the survivors and see what's happening there. For a second it looked there were two two marks there. Um and then, I don't know, maybe we, maybe we go over to the Githyanki at that point. That would make sense. Lizal really wants us to go there. 
um, yeah, for now, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you're on Twitch and you're not already following, please consider following. That'll let you know when I'm live again next time. Uh, if you're on YouTube, give it a like, give it a subscribe. Um, that will also let you know when I have new videos uh, coming up. And uh, for now, have a good one. Ta-ra.